Really good work, dude. Really good work. Okay, so there's your little fall off fade. Now, what type of shot shape do you like hitting? Like, what's the objective in terms of a shot shape? Usually pretty similar to that. So you Slight. like the little fall off fade? That is what I'm most consistent with. Okay, but do you like it? Not particularly. You like to hit a little bit I would like more to solid more shot. Yeah. It's kind of floaty and doesn't go as far as it should, yes. right? The matchups on that just aren't there to hit a solid fade. So we could teach you to hit a draw. We can teach you how to hit any shot you want to hit right now. But the goal is going to be to get you to have more compression yeah. when you're doing it. So what, if you were to hit a shot, what type of shot would you like? I mean, compared to that, lower. You still want to hit a fade, though? That has always been. I've never been able to consistently make the ball go right to left. Okay. Well, let's 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 mess around for a second on that and see okay. what we can do and see what kind of ball flights we could teach you and then we can make a decision yeah. on what you want to do. So, with your pattern, right? Stand back there next to Maxi for a second so you can see this. So you go up, you get into a good position at the top. You have pretty good depth, right? But you just start pulling your hands out in front of you, and that club face gets toe back, right? It's behind. Um, the face is pointed at the sky, so it's, it's wide open, right? And then you just get in here and you just cut across it, adding law. So the face for sure isn't strong, okay? That's what's causing the high balloony, you know, fade that doesn't go nearly as far as we'd like it, okay? So we can still hit fades when the face is more controlled, and we can still hit fades when the hands are more in front of the ball. We can still do that when everything's compressed. Okay, you don't have that compression. So that's what we're gonna work on first of all, okay? And that gets a lot into how the body mechanics work and most importantly, what the club face is doing, okay? Anytime it's this open, you're gonna just drag your hands across and hit that fade, okay? That weak fade. So what I want you to start feeling, first of all, little, little tweak before we do anything else. When you go up to the top of your backswing, I want you to get your shoulders dug more into the golf ball. Okay? So the lead shoulder should be pointing down towards where the ball is, but I want you to feel everything by how you work the mechanics on your right shoulder. Okay, So I want you to feel the right shoulders raising more up in the backswing. So step in here, set up and start coming back to the top of your backswing. See how I got that tilt there out of your body? I got this shoulder high. Now keep going, keep going. Boom. That's a more stable athletic position for you to hit in. You tend to get everything kind of flat here, and then you start going this way in the downswing and the club goes out, okay? So let's put you in the position to succeed. Take it back there one more time, okay? Now, when we go back, if we're trying to hit a fade, okay, we are gonna wanna feel a little bit of flexion in that lead wrist. So if you look right here, you'll see this face is pretty much toe up, okay? And it's trapped just in front of your hands, okay? So that's a good solid baby fade. If we looked at everything, if we were to go into a straight shot, we want to curl that down a little bit more, get the club head there. If we wanted to hit a draw, we'd curl it down and get it a little bit behind the hands. Does that make sense? Yep. So those are the three setup positions. But going back towards hitting a fade right here, okay? From here, we'd want to feel as though our butt had sat a little bit more back, get a little bit more back, there you go. And then, we are just going to turn and cover that golf ball with the chest. So you see how that face is still slightly open there? Okay. That's going to allow you to hit the fade you want, but get the compression that you want, right? We're trying to hit everything with our chest. I want my players to feel as though the left shoulder is going to lead the hands through impact. Does that make sense? Say that again. The left shoulder or the lead shoulder. Yep is going to pull and lead the arms and the hands into impact. Not getting here and just trying to drag that club out in front of me. Okay, the feels we, we started with have the club shallowing way better. Okay, it is behind your hands. We talked about giving you multiple shots to be able to hit. Okay, you are now in position in terms of the shaft's movement to hit pretty much anything. You've, you, you've actually got the club head just slightly behind the hands working into the golf ball but there's one major issue that you have, okay? On your solid balls, I'm guessing they're starting 
a little bit farther to the right and falling off a little bit more to the right when you hit it solid. Fair? Okay. It's because you fixed the path. It's more out, right? The one thing that hasn't changed at all is the club face. It's still wide open, okay? So I like the backswing. You're getting taller with it. Everything's getting more neutral coming down, but that club face still isn't, isn't where we want it to be. So come in here real quick. Go ahead and grip this club for me. I want to see something. So you have what would be a fairly neutral grip, okay? So let me borrow this. If we get in here with a fairly neutral grip, basically I use the V's to point out, right? I think that's a pretty easy way to look at. Your V is pointing straight up at my mic, okay? Now, anytime I get my club face like that, I'm going to need to get a whole lot of flexion in that lead wrist to square it up, okay. correct? Now, I can sit here and simply strengthen the grip, getting the V's more over the right shoulder for a right-handed player, okay? work back and work into that golf ball. Now everything's square, but if you look at that wrist, it's pretty flat, right? So you have a fairly flat wrist coming into impact. It's not like you are extended and you're opening the face 90 degrees and you're trying to square it up like you see with a lot of high handicappers. You just need a little bit more turn down, okay? Or a little a turn down of the face. Yep. With you, it might be hard to get that turn down out of your wrist. So I think we should just strengthen your grip slightly and that's going to change the, the complete condition that you come into the golf ball with. So give me this lead hand, okay? Now I'm going to put this more in your fingertips, wrap it around. Now, if we look here and put that down, that V right there is now more just inside that left shoulder, okay? Put the other hand on. Now, that probably feels uncomfortable to you, right? Correct? Feels completely foreign and new? Yep. That's okay. That's what we want you to get comfortable with. So I'm going to have you give me a couple practice swings, and then I'm going to have you give me the same feel we worked on the first time, but with that stronger grip and see what the golf ball does. Yeah, get it a little more on the fingertips here. There you go. There you go. Good. Really uncomfortable. Perfect. So you pulled it a little bit still. That tells me that the path got a little bit far out, but that ball had some draw to it, right? See how that was going right to left? Yep. That's going to change the flight for you. Now really dig in and hit me another one, but I want you to get back to that feel we worked on, getting everything really turned, keep the arms in tight. We've worked before on that part. Big turn. There you go. Beautiful golf shot. Now, go up to the top of your backswing. When you start turning down, I need you to feel like your butt is going to go back. So you feel that crunch there, mm -hmm. right there on the lead side of your pelvis? That's perfect, okay? Then from here, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. See how everything puts you in a position where you're we're getting everything forward, okay? Now, shaft's checking out, face is getting better, but you still are swiping through impact, okay? That's because you're not putting your body in any kind of condition to just keep rotating through it, okay? So we're gonna feel that butt crunches back. I'm gonna grab you here. We're gonna hit a little bunt, okay? Or make a little bunt swing. Without a ball first. Turn back, crunch down and go. Good, no, I want you to actually hit it. Start over again. Turn back, crunch down and go. Good. We're gonna just hit a little baby bunt. We're gonna exaggerate that crunch down and go. I don't care where this golf ball ends up. So that up for me. Go up top. Go. Really good work, dude. Really good work. Really good shot. I felt you move towards me without me even really having to control you. Okay? So that's the last big feel that we have to have is getting that crunch back in that rotation and getting the hands forward. And then you can keep hitting that golf shot all day. That's perfect. Good work. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. I come out with new content every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thanks a lot, guys.